Hello and welcome to our Volante Enterprise Kiosk session. In today's video, we'll be learning how to add images to our items and to our quick menu. Generally, we suggest using graphic types that are a PNG, JPG, or GIF type file. Using a bitmap or larger size files will cause a longer sync time to your terminal. We also suggest the approximate size of 320 by 320 pixels. However, the kiosk will resize the images to fit the available space based on your quick menu button sizing. In this session, we'll be taking a look at how to add our graphics to the item, as well as to our item as it displays in our quick menu. When a graphic is added to our item, that becomes the default items graphic. This means it appears on the ordering screen and any other sections within the kiosk, as well as the default ordering icon. When we add a graphic to the quick menu button, this graphic will override the item default, however, only on the ordering screen. So this means that if you want to have a different coffee image for different areas of your space, the default image will appear on all kiosks. However, the kiosk using the different image will only show on the ordering screen. The cart screen and any other functions within the kiosk will default to the base item. We'll take a look at this in our session here today. Finally, we'll always remember to data sync our items to the terminal once we've saved our new graphics. This will send the information down to the terminal immediately and have those new pictures available to our customers. When it comes to adding graphics to our kiosk, we suggest using a picture that represents the item that you're selling. This often means taking pictures of your food items and may mean engaging your marketing team for assistance. If you don't have a marketing team or don't plan to take pictures of your actual items, there are many free sites on the internet available to you to download stock photography. Let's take a look now at how we can start adding graphics to our items. So first we'll be navigating to our menu management area. From within our menu management area, we'll be selecting one of our default menu sets, where we can see all of the categories of items that we currently have available to us. I'll be picking our starters to begin for today. And in here, now I can see a list of all the different items I have available to me as starter items. I'd like to go ahead and start adding some graphics to these starter items that will be appearing on my menu. Let's go ahead and add a graphic in for our crispy calamari. As we can see over to the right, my kiosk area has no image yet displayed. I'm going to hit the plus in order to access my link image upload window. And from here, I'll be going to the uploader icon. This will give me access to all graphics that I currently have saved on my local computer for upload. I'm going to pick the graphic I've previously created for my crispy calamari and choose to open it. The item is now uploaded and added into my image library, but has not yet been selected for this item. I can now choose the item, and as we see, a blue check mark has appeared in the top left corner, and my Add button is available. So let's choose Add. And now the graphic has been added into my kiosk image for the crispy calamari. Always remember to save your changes before continuing back, or your picture will not be saved. I'm going to hit Cancel, choose Save. My image has been modified, and now I can return back to my list of items. I'm going to add a graphic now to my barbecue stacked ribs. As we can see, this item does not yet have a graphic. However, I know I have an image saved in my image library from a previous upload that I'd like to use on this item. I'm going to choose the Add Image, and instead of going to the Upload, I can see that I have a graphic already in place for the ribs. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the upload phase, choose the item, and choose add. The item is now available with a graphic. I'll choose save, and we'll go back. So I would continue repeating this process for all of the different items I have available to me within my starter area. When I'm ready, I can move back to categories and pick a different area of items in order to add graphics to those as well. I can also add graphics to an item directly from the item area or by searching for a particular item. At this point, I would now go ahead and do a data sync by choosing sync now. Any unsaved change will be synced to the terminals and I'll choose to sync now. 
This way, those new graphics will be sent down to my kiosk and ready for my customers to start buying those items. Keep in mind, these items do have to exist on Quick Menu before the items will appear on screen. So let's add one more set of images. I'm going to go to my beverages hot. I'm going to choose my coffee in this case. So let's choose my small coffee. We'll add an item picture. I have coffee graphics. We'll just add this for all of my different sizes quickly here. So now I've added graphics to my different coffees. Just finish up with our main size coffee here. We'll choose add and save. Now I'm going to go back to my quick menu space. To return quickly to my main space, I'll hit the V. From here, I'll navigate to quick menus. In the quick menu area, I can see available menu layouts. Chances are I may already have a kiosk quick menu layout in place, and I would simply click on it to continue working on the area. We will be covering many of the kiosk quick menu best practices in another video. But a quick recap. Best practice is to keep your layouts in three, four, or five columns maximum for your width. You can use labels to go along with organizing your items. Every category that's given a name in the display name area and has one item added to the layout will then appear as a category on your kiosk. Otherwise, all blank areas are ignored by the kiosk, so you do not have to erase any information here. Taking a quick look at some of my items, I can see that my items may or may not have a graphic assigned on this quick menu. For example, the pierogies do not have a specific image. However, the image likely exists at the item level, not at the quick menu level. If I want, I can override the default image with an image that I pick specifically for that item as it appears in this quick menu. So a good example of that is in my beverages. I have three coffees in here, a small, a medium, and a large coffee. Instead, I would like to add a different graphic for my small coffee. So I'll pick coffee, and as we can see, no override graphic is in place. I'll hit the plus sign to add an image, and from my library, I'm going to pick the line art graphic instead and choose add. I will save this change as made to this item. So now my small coffee will have a different picture than my medium and large coffees, which are using the default item. I'll data sync my changes down by using sync center and sync now and sync now to send the changes to my kiosk. We'll give it a moment to send the data and we'll see what that change looks like on the kiosk level. We'll tap to start our order, and we see that the majority of my items have graphics which were added to the items directly. I will go to beverages now, and we can see that the medium and large coffees have the default item that we added. The small coffee, on the other hand, has that override line art graphic that we used in place. This is our override graphic on this particular quick menu. This is a great option to allow us customization of an item's graphic depending on where the item is sold. So for example, in my cafeteria, I might have a specific graphic by default for all coffee items. However, if the same coffee is being sold in my Starbucks location, I might choose to override the graphic at the quick menu level with a Starbucks logoed cup instead. I'm going to take a quick look at my order. You can see I do have my coffee in the order, change my quantities, and from here I'm available to check out. Thanks for watching this quick video today on adding graphics to our items for kiosk. We look forward to seeing you in future videos related to our quick menu and other kiosk functions. Thank you.